Hey guys, Juan Chloe here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really good day. In today's episode of BitX 101, do we want to take a look on public pool, what it is, how we can use it, and why it even exists. So let's get started and right into it. <laughs> As you can see, I have again opened up my browser and we are sitting on the web page from Public Pool. Because in today's episode, I want to talk about Public Pool, what it is, how you can use it. And in future episodes, you will also be educated on how you can install this on different operating systems. So stick to this and subscribe to this channel so don't miss out on further videos. But now let's get into this and let's talk about this. So what is Public Pool? Public Pool is a fully open source developed solo Bitcoin mining pool. So this is no pool operation where all these miners that are connected to this pool will share the reward whenever a block is found. When you find a block, you will get the rewards. And the best thing about this is Public Pool comes with zero percentage of fees. So whenever you do find a block, you get 100% of the block and the block rewards and all the transaction uh, transaction costs that are also in there, the fees. And why is this important? We do see that there are plenty of other pools around there. And these pools come either with one thing that's not so good, that is either the fee, or the other thing is that you do not know what this pool is exactly doing or how the node behind it is configured. And the good part with this pool, with this, uh, yeah, this, just this software that connects your mining device to your node, is that you can control it and that you can run it on your own device. But how this works, we will get into this in a future episode. But today we just want to talk about it and how you can actually connect it. So I mentioned that it is fully open source developed. And before we dive into this UI thingy here, I want to go over to the GitHub web page where you can see all the stuff. And I will put down the links, all of the links in the video description down below so that, that you can take a look on it. So we are sitting here at GitHub and in one of the previous episodes, I introduced you to GitHub and how you can use it. GitHub is just this awesome platform where you can share all your stuff that you do. And here is the repository of public port. So you can take a look on everything that's in here and check it out. There's also a description and an introduction on how you run this app, how you use it and how you can modify it. You can even run this in a Docker container and so on. So all these configurations parts that are in here are really well explained and you just can grasp what it's doing. And the second repository that's also really interesting is the UI. So you could also, whenever you'd like to do so, download the UI, change it and run this on your own at home. But that's the good part about it. It's open source, it's fully open source, it's for you so that you do use it and so that you can change whatever you feel need to change. In order to connect it, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is to put in this Stratum plus TCP connection in your mining device, whatever it is. And I, go, I know it could differ from mining device to mining device, but usually there is some sort of a web UI that you can use and then you just plug it in and put in the pool information. And there you go. Here's the pool information. The link to this web page is web.public-pool.io. And then you do have this beautiful UI here. And uh, the only thing else you need to plug in into your mining device, by the way, is your Bitcoin address. That's it. And if you wish a dot and your worker name, that's all you need to do. Nothing else. It's, it's fairly simple. You can connect whatever device you want to this pool. And while we're talking about fully open source and this ethos of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining, I do need to mention here that the best possible way for you as an individual who wants to increase the decentralization of Bitcoin you should not use this pool. You should not use any other pool. You should use your own pool. So stick to this channel and subscribe to it so you don't miss out on the further episodes of BitX 101 because on next week we will dive into this, how you can install this on a couple of different devices and I want to show it to you so that you can do this at home and don't need to rely on other people or other people's hardware or software in this case. A good thing about this here is you can put in your, your Bitcoin address and then you can see all your workers. Uh, down there here, you do have the overall hash rate of this pool. So we're currently sitting between 1.5 to 2 peta hash at the moment. You also do get an overview of all these online devices. All these devices with a star are fully open source devices. The other ones do have information or links to them. 
So yeah, just the ones with the stars are fully open source developed mining devices. Uh, and if you just click on it, there is then a link to the GitHub repository. I just clicked on Nerd Miner, and do you see it just guides you over to the Nerd Miner repository on GitHub so that you can take a look on it. Further down, do we have something really interesting? And Public Pool is in this way kind of unique. So do see these four companies here. And whenever you do purchase something on these websites, you can use the discount code SOLO. And when you do use this, 50% of the rewards that, because these are affiliate earnings, 50% of these rewards will be used to run this public pool. And the other half of this will be used in order to, yeah, just give this Bitcoin back to the people who have the highest shares. And you will get to this, what I'm talking here about. If you scroll down even more, and we do see a list and overview of different devices with the best difficulty per month. So currently an Ant Miner, probably an S19, whatever, or 21, does have created the best difficulty of 10.4T, which is pretty high. So this is one eighth of the current network difficulty per this month. So it's very likely that this device, whoever this is, will receive these rewards. And what I'm talking about is, when people do purchase here, these companies and use this discount code, these companies will give this percentage to public pool and then public pool will give you 50% of these earnings from this discount code. So you do get a discount and public pool and you as a miner might earn from this. So that's pretty, pretty amazing and pretty fair, I do think. And this also comes into this mind of that this pool runs at 0% fees. So this pool only lives through this affiliate program and of the goodwill of the creator from Ben, who's also a lovely member of the OSMU community. So whenever you think about purchasing a new device, check out the discount, discount codes on this webpage. It just helps out the community and helps out spread a little bit more decentralization. But while I talk about this, as I stated before, you should run your own pool. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of this one here so that you are introduced to this because you can pretty easily use this one. And let me quickly hop over to my mining device and let's quickly take a look on my BitX hex here. And when I do go over to settings, you do see the public pool is already in here. So I do use public pool. And now let me grab my BTC address, go back over to public pool, paste this in here and click on my workers. That's the overview that you will see whenever you go over here. So you can put in whatever mining device you do have and just point it towards public pool or your own instance if you do know how to run it or if you follow up one of my further uh, my future videos, then you also might know how to do this. And then you can just have a nice overview of your device. And there's also a settings page. This is just for the background particles. So just a aesthetic feature. But yeah, that's public pool. And I do hope that you find this video informational and well useful because it's sometimes hard to grasp where you should mine it. And while we're in this video here and while you stick to this for over seven minutes, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are still in here. I need to mention, you can always change your mining device to whatever pool you like. I do think that there are one or two pools that might not work currently with the BitX and the BitX software. But rather than that, most likely every other pool will accept your mining device. So just go for it, figure it out. And uh, maybe we even do an episode about which pool is accepting shares from, from a BitX and which is not. So that's it about public pool. I do hope that you guys love this video and I do hope that you find this informational. So don't miss out on any further videos. Thanks for being here. Thanks for viewing and see you next time.